Hi friends, Kelly here. Welcome to my channel. Once again, working on the case clothes junk journal folio. And this is part six. So what am I working on? Uh, last time I did this, well, the last two videos, so I believe that is two parts. Um, I did this. I love, I love, I love this. I love, love, love it. All the loves. Um, turned out really great. So, so fun. Let's do this page today. Okay. So pulling this piece out, set you aside and I have an idea. Find somewhere to put that. Have an idea. So this is going to be a pocket. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to just glue it down, but maybe not. We'll leave it the way it is. This is the page I'm going to do. Uh, this is on the back of the pocket and it does have a little bit of a gusset so stuff can fit in here and this will probably get decorated with things these pockets 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 no pockets today well kind of a pocket today but here's what i'm working with an envelope this envelope happens to be just the right size line it up close it ta-da it's just the right size. So I want to work on this envelope. This is, I don't know what's really going to go in it, but um, I'm imagining it's some envelope of, I don't know, something was sent to our detective friend. Oh, back's got some fun stuff on it. But what do we need to do to prep this? I do not want it to be so brand new looking. Um, so I'm going to do some inking. And then I was thinking of decorating it and then making also a tuck spot maybe down here so I could tuck something in. I had something here. Just I went through and cleaned up a few of the scraps and cut some bits and pieces apart. And this is one of the things. It was actually two cards front and back, but when you put them together, they match up. So it still needs to be trimmed up a bit and inked, but I was thinking some sort of tuck spot over here that this could sit in this way or this way with some, a few other things. So that's kind of the direction I'm going. But first thing to do is some inking. So this needs uh, some inking, even though this side is done. There's a little here, but I want a little bit more. I want to do a little bit more. And I kind of want to address this side and this side. No, actually, I'm sorry. I take that back. I decided I am going to leave it because I'm going to stamp something here, here, here. But hey, I'm going to wait till the end. Um, I'm going to do like a... Uh, a day where I just go through and do pretty much filler stamping. That's my plan. Uh, okay, so this is gonna go here. So inking here and this thing. So first thing I'm gonna do is worry about this. I already did a little bit of scorched timber around it um, and I'm pretty sure I did that in oxide. But I wanted to bring in a little bit darker so I'm gonna use the ink as well. Is this the right one? It must be doesn't have a label, so that's got to be it. Um, I do need to protect my surface, my desk. So I've got this big scrap here. So, eh, once again, I can't get my hand and my brain to come together on what to do here. <sighs> it's always so hard to open. Okay, so, well, I don't really need this yet, but let's see. Just getting a little bit more dinginess to it. You're really only going to see the edges, but I want it to be a little grungier. And then this part here. So again, you're not going to really see it, but add a little bit of grunge in there. Oh, I got it on my desk anyway. <laughs> uh, next. Let's try, maybe I didn't do oxide. Oh, now that I think about it, that was ink. Let's add a little oxide. See what that does. Hello. Yeah, that adds definitely a level of grunge. All right. That added another layer. I also want to add back in, I'm going to attempt to add in a little bit of warmth. So let's try vintage photo. That's got to be it. Let's see if this actually does anything for us. For us. <laughs> Who's us? I don't know. You guys are with me, right? 
Yeah, that kind of warms it back up a little. So we get that dirty, dirty look from the scorched timber, but then by going over it again with the vintage photo, I'm warming it back up. Because I do think that that scorched timber, to my eye, it's a little bit on a cooler tone. Um, definitely some grays and some greens. That's good. And you wonder why my ink pad is, or the blender pad, or whatever this thing's called, is falling apart. I'm not exactly gentle. Ooh. I really liked that. Yeah. That's better. That did what I wanted. Oops, my bag is flying all over the place. Okay, so yes, here's here's my my favorite formula so far is the scorched timber. Actually, it kind of went like this. Hopefully, I'm in frame. I have no idea. Ink, distress ink to oxide scorched timber, warming it up with vintage photo on this particular paper. Now, of course, if you do it on something else, it's going to look totally different, which we should try. <laughs> so that's ready to go. How does this? It doesn't matter. That out of the way. Okay, envelope. Uh, spin this down, make it. Okay, we're gonna do some. Woo, hello. I think what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna do, oh, I keep saying we. You're in on this, you're in on this. Um, I don't know what that note's for. Uh, I'm going to use a combo, I think, of these two. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. Ooh, those are dirty. And just a little bit of ink. Um, here's what I'm going to do. This side is going to get glued down. So I can play with this side, test some things out. So I'm thinking Distress Oxide T, but I also am thinking I might bring in that and maybe some vintage photo. Uh, okay, so kind of like the cover, I'm just, first off, let's see what's on there. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh, that's gonna be way too light. That does nothing. All right. I'm going to just add ink and see what happens. Not that one. Okay, that's a little better. Still not doing much. Probably because the envelope's almost the same color anyway. It does definitely add something to it, but not quite what I'm looking for yet. This might be more of what I would consider an accent. If that makes any sense? Let's be honest, I'm totally winging it here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That's what I want right there. Yeah. Okay, vintage photo ink. Um, here's the other thing I want to do. I want to do this piece independently from this piece. I don't want it to just blend all together. So I'm going to grab a piece of scratch paper. Does this fit? Oh, just about. Okay, I'll just have to move it. All right. This is... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do that on the whole thing, and then I'll come back for the next step. All right, I have that part done. Oh, I forgot to do the envelope here. So, uh, vintage photo. Let's do that real quick. Again, I kind of want to keep from blending continuously. It probably wouldn't matter, but I'm just going to do this anyway. Make me feel better about the situation. Just mask that off. Then, because this is going to close, I'll do the flap, but I'm going to open this up and get in here so I don't have a line. Well, I kind of do, but I'm going to ink a little inside too. 
because it would make sense that there's a line, especially kind of back to that trick I did a while back with the um, making it look like it had been sitting in the sun. So the line kind of helps that, but I also want to add a little bit of ink in there so it doesn't look brand spanking new. Come on. And I don't think you'll see this side, but why not? Ooh, I just got a little tear. Yeah, I like that. Come on, open up. Yeah, I like that. Okay, um, what color did I do? Vintage. Oh yeah, that's cool. All right, maybe I'll keep that out. Now, this back piece, oh, I still need that. Get this on. Because, like I said, when you close the envelope, which is what I intend to do, this will show. Oh, I'll get to use some of my new vintage stamps. Well, new to me. Okay, so it gets closed. Yeah, perfect. Mm. Let's crease that. And maybe rip this a little bit. There we go. Uh, inking, inking. In fact, I probably want to ink the whole thing all the way around. Ooh. Yeah. Just a little dauber. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep using the ink. Could use the vintage photo oxide like I always do, but uh, why not? I'm already this far in. Let's just do it. Um, let's see. I had another idea. No, I can't think of what it was. Oh, the brass metal piece here. I think you know where I'm going with that. I think we need to play with alcohol again. Even though I just got it pretty much all washed off my hand. Because <laughs> I was deep into it. But now I have a, a little container of alcohol dyed brads that were like bright gold, bright silver. And now they are not. They're not exactly the color I wanted, but... It works out. It's also coffee time. Ah, good stuff. And 3.40 in the afternoon. Hope I don't pay for that later. I'm going coffee. I'll be up all night. Well, I get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day of work for two weeks. My kids had their last day of school today for two weeks. We're on spring break. And then we're getting an extra week of spring break. Because we are going on a family vacation. So... I'm already feeling vacation mode kicking in and I'm super excited that um, we are going to have kind of a chill at home week then we are gonna go on to have a vacation so I can take my time packing we can get a thing a few things done around the house I'm excited about all that okay uh, what do you think is gonna happen here I'm really, really just, <laughs> uh, I guess I'm doing that. It's a weird little blob. Might as well make a few more. Why not? Who knows why those spots are there or what they are. I feel like we need more there. Oh, I don't like that. Eh, don't care. All right. Is it all over me? I am super dehydrated. Ooh, I need to drink some water. I don't think your skin is supposed to be, like, pruney. All right. Well, I made a little bit of a mess with that. That's okay. Still opens. Yes. Okay. 
alcohol. And I really do think I should research that a bit. I know what I'm doing. How about, um, let's go with the oxide and do a little bit of this. It's interesting. I feel like I want to kind of carry it along here. That's fun. Um, some splattering. Sure. How about... Where's vintage? vintage? Nope, that does not work. I don't know why I even tried. All kinds of stuff happened into this envelope. Ooh. Coffee, of course. A little bit of that. Gonna go off the edge here. Um, yeah, why not? Let's keep going. A little bit of splattering here. Going down, down, down. Perfect. Okay, good enough. All right, I think that takes care of inking and getting it all grungy looking. Um, moving on. <laughs> I just realized that I blotted all the alcohol off of this, so a lot of good that did me. It's still gold. Huh, okay. <sighs> back, back to this. So, what other... What else do I have? Um, ginger. I seem to like that color a lot. Um, I wonder if I could just do this. I don't know what my kids are yelling about. They're just, they're not like yelling at each other. They're just being loud. Well, let's be honest. It's Lily that's being loud. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea if this is going to work. Probably not. I don't know why I'm doing this. The alcohol is going to seep right through the paper. <laughs> it's probably going to make a weird shape or something, but. I hope, I hope, I hope I don't regret that. Trying to see underneath it. Eh, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to actually do anything because I feel like it's just pooling on top of the... Well, maybe because I need to leave it alone. Let's do that. If it's not shiny, shiny gold, that's really all I'm trying to do here, is trying to not have a sh super shiny gold. Oh yeah, that's working. Okay, I don't think I need that anymore. That is a little bit better. It's just not shiny gold anymore. That's what I wanted. I'll leave that be. Okay. Um... These are big spots are bugging me, but they'll probably get covered up with something anyway. All right, time to embellish this. I've got a few things here. Um, not entirely sure what's gonna go in it, but I thought I would grab a few of these things. And then I've started all of the little bits I've been cutting off, I've been putting in here. So I have some of those as well. This. I don't want to lose track of, let's just get that out of the way, where this is going. Yeah, that, I love that. That looks way better. And then, well, I don't want to try to close it because the alcohol should be dry, but I'm not going to try blotting it because that didn't go well last time. Okay, so we are working with the idea of a tuck spot. Oh... Uh, if I you I have an idea for that. 
That could be cool. Um, what makes sense to make this tuck spot out of? Hmm. Parcel post? Maybe. Scissors. Let's cut some. I'm going to cut some of these apart so I have pieces to work with. Okay, I have those cut out. I also was thinking this one right here. Or. Mm, no, I'm going to go with this one that says department something. 22NW. This is actually from. Hmm, Oh, I'm not going to be able to come up with it now off the top of my head. Where did I get these from? I believe if you look um, in my Etsy finds, just my regular ones, not my crime ones, there is, I don't know what half of that means. Um, there's a link to all my, my digitals I like on Etsy that I found. And these would probably be in like the entomology botany, something kind of like that, um, science-y, nature-y things. I just cannot think of where this came from. Okay, um, I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm not using that right now. So really, all I needed was this. I think it's going to go this way. I think I'm going to glue that down just on the edge. That should give me enough spot to hold that in place, I hope. Or should I do... I just don't know if this is a big enough... Eh, it might be. I kind of feel like it should be something bigger, but I don't know what. Um, I think I'm gonna have to dive into some other digitals. Let me take a quick peek just to see if there's anything else I think would be a good fit for this tuck spot. Okay, I have a whole pile of stuff. I don't know if I actually found what I was looking for, but as I was going through some printables, a bunch of ideas came to me. So here's what I pulled out and why. I have this uh, chart that talks about rainfall. I was thinking, okay, this could be something um, that the investigator grabbed and is keeping track of because of maybe how a be gruesome but <laughs> how a body was discovered and maybe they're trying to determine how long the victim had been there um they have to look at rainfall records to determine I, okay first off i don't watch csi or any of that stuff i'm going completely off imaginary points of information so but okay so the investigator needs to know what the rainfall was for that particular time period to determine maybe how long the victim had been there yeah. um this piece here has a check kind of i liked that it was pink here's another one down here um it says california women's hospital hmm, interesting uh so either of those in okay sorry this is going to be gross but again, we need some evidence. So what if instead of coffee, this is you know what? Do I have to say it? It's blood. So I might get a little icky. Um, this I pulled out. Well, this I pulled out just because I thought this label could, could work. So that was really a good one. Then this, again, that idea of, you know, something splattered on it. Blood. And then I have a map here and I thought, oh, well that could be like, if I drew in red pen or something, they could be tracking a suspect. So I'm gonna cut that out. The one above it um, has, uh, I think it's too modern. I'm pretty sure those little T's are for transportation. Um, so like city buses or something. So that's a little too modern for this um, project. But this map could work. It's not an entire map. But it's a snippet of one and I think it would be cool. So while I didn't really <laughs> execute the uh, task at hand by finding a tuck spot thingy, I did find some cool stuff to put in this envelope. Even though once you get it in there, you won't really see it. Oh, 
I just had an idea. What if I make a window in it and then you could see what's in there? <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, I am going to open this up. I need a letter opener. Do I have a letter opener? I don't think I do. I need a knife. Let's open this up, shall we? Let's do it so we don't cut our fingers off. Ah! How did I mess that up so bad? Okay. Really, really don't want to wreck the hard work I did inking the front. I don't mind a tear here and there. I think that'll be fine. There we go. You're gonna need a new blade on this craft knife. I think that's the problem. Oh yeah. Actually, I really like that. That'll be really cool when it's glued back together. Okay. And I'm gonna have to open the bottom up here. Again, it's ripped. I think that'll add to the grunginess of it. Get that open up. Okay. Now that it's open, it doesn't make sense that the envelope window would be on this side, but I don't care. I really don't care. Okay, so now I have to find a die. Let's see what I have here. I'm sure I have something that will be appropriate size window. Um, I think I also have, here's a big square one. I have a rectangle one, but I think it is part of Tim Holtz thing. Where is that? I also have this one. Yes, here. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want. Not that one. Oh, are we doing acetate and more alcohol ink? Oh, probably. Okay, so if I do a window, what am I gonna do this window? What makes the most sense? I think, I feel like this right here. That's what I'm gonna do. How am I gonna run this? Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna run that through my die cutting machine and I'll be back. Actually, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do because, um, this, if this is something you ever decide to do by opening up a window, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to flip it over and I'm going to stick the die on the inside and I'm going to washi tape that down with some washi if I could find some. <laughs> if I could find some. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Of course I can find some. I could find some for the days and days. Okay. Do that there because I don't want to accidentally have the washi rip up the other side. Then I'm going to close it because that's how it's going to fit through my big kick, big shot thing. And put it right on through. Okay, I'm quite sure that worked. Peel that off. And, and now I have this extra little scrap I can do something with. I don't know what, but we'll save that. Now, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> now I have to ink the inside of the envelope. Uh, Okay, so let me do that, and I'm going to go ahead and glue in the acetate. You guys have seen me do that, um, and then we'll be ready to move on with decorating it. Okay, I now have a window here. I did add a little bit more alcohol, um, which I could have done the same thing with stain, I suppose, but um, 
added a blob here, added more to these spots here. It just really didn't like how they were round, perfectly round. I wanted them to just not be that. <laughs> so I just bleh, added some more. This is dry, so that's good. Okay, now let's do some decorating and make some stuff to go into this envelope. Uh, I'm going to need to glue this back together. So I might as well get that done. And um, I am gonna have to ink around this a little bit here in the bottom. And actually, I'm gonna ink, I'm gonna glue it together because I have an idea of what I need to do to make sure that it is, um, it doesn't look like I cut it open. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm trying to get at here. Okay, so there, there. So that takes care of that. That's what I want to fix right there. So paper destroyer. Oh, where is that? Here it is. So here's how I'm going to fix that. I'm going to come in and just get rid of that bottom part. Yes. Oh wait, I didn't do, I did ink on this. Oh, here. How about we close the glue? Because we know how persnickety the glue gets. Thank you very much. And inking. Okay, now. Oops, not the desk. Let's not ink the desk. That's better. All right, now let's put some stuff in it. Or decorate it and put some stuff in it. So, do I still want to do a tuck spot? even though stuff's going in it. I kind of do. Yeah, I do. All right, inking. Because it's faster and easier, vintage photo. And I'm gonna do the back side of the top because if you, if it gets flipped up a little bit, you'll get to see that, I'd rather not. Okay, the rest of this should go pretty quickly, I would think. I'm just going to glue along the bottom and I'm going to put it close to the edge right there. All right. And then the evidence thing, I will do that at the end, but I don't want to forget to ink around the edges. Then what I'm going to do is glue it down, rip it apart. This would have been better on a thinner, well, no, I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to break the seal somehow. I'll have to think about how I'm going to do that without wrecking it completely, but I think I'll be able to do that. And then let's see, it's going to have, so that's going to be there. So it's going to get glued to, well, it's going to get glued to both. I might have to find a letter opener or something because I want to be able to rip that open. Special delivery is going to go here. Why is this so hard for me to keep track of these detobbers? All right, that'll go there. I don't want it to be exactly centered. Push it over a little bit. I wonder what that says. Something USA. D E. Mm. There's a teeny tiny word there. I can't read it because I don't have eyes that can read that. <laughs> have 45 year old eyes. They cannot read that any longer. Um, okay, let's see. This card lined up pretty well, so I don't think I actually have to use my scissors to trim it. I am going to distress the edges though, because that'll take care of kind of making the edges come together. And then I'll ink it. Oop, made a mess. All right, that is going to be the outside piece. 
And I feel like it needs some stamping too. I haven't done any stamping yet, have I? How is that possible? And let's do the back because this is removable. Need some red stamps on it, of course. Mm, definitely some red. Um, let's see what we got. Go to the good old trusty Tim Holtz stuff. Ah, pad. I'm gonna have to get a new one. And barn door. Oh, and you know what? Probably should do some splattering. Barn door. Get the stamping ready. Um, definitely want to use this. It's going there. Beach. Um. Oh, look, postmaster contents visualize this parcel may be open for postal inspection if necessary. Ooh, that seems very official. All right, have a long block. So let's put this on here. Lily is <laughs> gotten into the clothes that I pulled out for our Florida trip. Um, thankfully, her older sister, I saved all her clothes because at that time we were still hopeful to have another kid and thought, well, might as well save it. So I have all of her clothes from the same, actually, Gwen's, when she was wearing the size clothes that Lily is starting to grow into, Gwen was younger. Gwen has always been tall. So those things are starting to fit Lily and I pulled everything out, got it all washed, had her do a little fashion show yesterday, trying stuff on. And now she's just wearing shorts and dressing up, <laughs> getting into those clothes. So I'll probably be doing a little more laundry before we go. But I was very happy to find out that I don't have to buy my youngest a summer wardrobe because she will fit everything her sister wore. Oh, gosh, sorry. That was super loud. All right. So that on the bottom. That's cool. And then there's another one here that says return and forwarding postage guaranteed. That seems very official. I would imagine that to be the case if somehow evidence was being sent to this detective. And I'm thinking of putting it up here. So right across the top there. Also red. Although now I'm starting to think this should be a deeper red, brighter red. But I think it's all right. Oh, it's so hard to tell if I got enough ink on it. I don't think I did. Here, 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 here. Okay. Go right there. Perfect. If you are having trouble with stamping and stamping images and getting a nice, um, clean, crisp or just clean image and not it being like all wonky, Put some felt underneath or something to absorb the the shock that's not really the technical way to say that but to give it a good impression so you have something to kind of go into um, it really does make a difference okay that will be like that that will go there i feel like we can put something up here i'm gonna get our fallen leaves for this and oh my coffee i forgot all about it I do love coffee, coffee, coffee. Letter parcel. There's all kinds of good stuff on this one. All right. Finally, these stamps actually make sense. Let's put that there. Oh, yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't think there's any more postage -y ones. All right, that, that, that'll be there. I don't know if it needs much more on the envelope. Okay, where's the thing? This will get tucked in here. That's cool. Okay, this is where I needed to do some inking. Put that there. Um, 
What's going on here? This fell out. Ah! <laughs> okay, I think I need to clean these. They are not staying put. This one. I love these round stamps. Every time. And again in red. And some splattering. Definitely have to come back for some splattering. Alright. How about right there? Yeah. Uh, something here. Boop. What? Let's go in there. The number um, received. Mm. How about just agent? This agent one this is a good one. There. Okay. Oh, well, we have a stamp that says enclosure. I feel like we should definitely use that. Do I have a second one of these? Clear? No. What's on this clear one? Uh, no. Oh, I thought that I did. Let's put that one. Maybe up here somewhere. Makes no sense. Just needed it to go somewhere. I did not want to overthink that. I don't like where it landed, but I don't care. Alright. I think that's good on the stamping. Alright, so this is going to go into here. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I don't think that's going anywhere. This will go here. This feels like a space that needs something. I think we need a label or something. Uh, what else? Do, well, okay, a parcel post, special delivery. Um, fragile, handle with care. Ooh, that's a good one. Like that, yeah. Actually, let me think about it. There was something else that I cut. Where did that go? There was one that I cut. Yeah, this one. Want it's got the word wanted on it. It actually uh, cut. It didn't print properly. But if I just fold it around, I glue it on and fold it around. That, that's cool. Let's do that. And I'll hold on to find that. I think it needs something there. Um, how about we stamp something from this on here. Leaves. Eh. I need a small scrap. Just needed a small scrap of paper, which now I have. Um, let's do that. Sure. Cool. So this gets glued down. Gonna get folded over. Let's see right about there. And we'll go there and fold it over. There we go. That's cool. Okay. What else? Let's make some pieces to go in the envelope. Okay, so that's the outside, and it can actually go up a little higher. There, that's better. Excellent. Okay, how about some weird things to go inside, like this? 
This, I feel like all it really needs is some inking. And then what could I stamp on it? Um, it probably needs like, I don't know, a case number attached to it or a file number or something. I also feel like it needs to be, edges are a little too clean. Got a little carried away on this edge here. That's all right. That's better. There we go. Probably won't even see any of that because it'll be in this envelope. Oh, you might see that. Okay. That makes me feel better. <laughs> ah! Wasting all that energy. Um, splattering. Get the splattering going. I need like a little assembly line. Inking, splattering, and then embellishing. There we go. It's this one too. I was going to stamp something on the back, but now I don't want to. I think splatters are good enough. It's got a lot going on. Okay, that. And then. Like I said, I need a case number or something. Something to go on there to look official. No, not that. I do like this set though, for this purpose. Um, this number, whatever this is, it's going to be this. Ugh. I struggle getting the lids off of ink because I don't wanna just grab it and pull and then end up with my ink pad flying and hitting my arm or my desk or destroying my project. I'm not saying that's ever happened. <laughs> mm, now I feel like I want something there. One more. Knowing that this is the side you'll see, I kind of feel like that's where it needs to be. Um, this. Whatever this is. I keep closing this up. Why do I keep doing that? Just leave it open. Oh, see? It ain't all over me. Awful. There. Cool. Alright, that's done. So that piece will go in there. Well, let's see how that looks. Might as well get it stuck in there. Hello? What's going on here? Did I glue this shut too far? Oh, I totally did. How did I mess that up? All right, well, nothing can be that wide. I well, can't even see what it is, but that sure looks cool. Doesn't really matter. Okay, keep that in mind. I don't really care though, because I think it looks awesome. With that being said, I really don't need a lot to go in there because you're not going to see. Let's see what happens here. Come on. Because I am going to close the envelope or want to be able to close it. So I'm going to save that for another time. That's still a cool idea. I think the playing card will be... I'll have it so it's just visible over here. I think that'll work. And like I said, I'm going to make it look kind of icky. Oh, and I wanted to do one of those checks. I could round the corners, but I'm lazy. And I'm just gonna do it with my scissors. Sometimes I kind of like the rounded corners being imperfect because it just lends itself to the wear and tear aspect of, you know, making something look authentically vintage. And we're going to do this pink one, this pink check. What red is going to look the closest to blood? <laughs> Gross. 
That is super gross. Uh, because if you think about it, when blood dries, <laughs> I feel so weird talking about this. This is super creepy and gross. But when blood dries, it kind of has a brown tinge to it, right? I'm guessing. Not. The, I just for some reason can't think of what dried blood looks like right now. But that's what I'm going with. So I feel like barn door might be the right color, but I'm going to test it um, with something else too. What is the other red I have? Lumberjack? I wonder what that'll look like. No! Crackling campfire. That might be too orangey. Let's, let's see what we have. Um, lumberjack plaid. That's what it's called. And I also have crackling campfire. My other red is this lipstick and cherry kisses. And I know those are not the red I want to go. So, um, here's what I usually do is I just use one red dauber for all my red inks. Did I ink them both? Yep, I did. Okay. So let's do a little testing here with these three reds. I'm gonna, I'm still thinking barn door is going to be the winner. But I'm not sure entirely. So I want to do a very small spot. Get a little, little brush. <laughs> a little, little brush. <laughs> okay. Crackling campfire. Let's test you. Oh, gross. Okay. Oh, ew. <laughs> Just, it's ink. But knowing that my brain, oh, that is probably the perfect color right there. Ew. Okay. Well, you are so far. Yeah, I'm not even going to tempt barn door. That's going to be way too pink red. And I'm certain this is not. Oops. That's too, like, cartoony blood. That's, like, fresh droplets. Oh, my gosh, Kelly, stop. Just gross. If you can't handle this portion, I totally, totally understand. <laughs> okay. This could also be that some of the brown mixed in, which is kind of exactly what I want. All right. Um, here's what I want to do. I want these to appear as though they were laying on the table, right? wherever said crime occurred. So, however, when this goes in here, this is gonna go here, and then this is gonna go here. So I wanna make sure I get these sides. So like that, something like that. We'll do it this way. And I might end up ripping some of this off because it's kind of wide. So, um, the splattering looks like it's going that direction. This brush might be too little, but it's all right. Yeah, I think the brush is a little too small. Let's go with a bigger one. I'm no forensic scientist, but the big blob seems... Oh, no! Come back! <laughs> come back, come back, come back. The big blob seems like it would be the darkest. I gotta line that back up. There we go. Seriously, hold it together. All right. Trying to keep them together is not going well, there we go. All right, there we go. What I was trying to say is that I want to concentrate the most color on the big splotch, then working my way out, it, it can be less and less. That's what I was trying to say. And I'm really trying to hold it in place here. There, that's working better. I don't want the coffee spill. 
This also looks like a big droplet. <laughs> Ew. All right. Moment of truth. How did we do? This creepy, weird idea. Ew! <laughs> That's so disturbing. Oh. I don't like it, but I love it. <laughs> hope that makes sense. Oh, nasty. Okay. And I gotta be honest, in all of my years of crafting, never once in my whole entire life would I have dreamt that one day I would be trying to replicate blood. <laughs> in one of my projects. Just never saw that coming. Okay, there. There we go. Cool! That's so cool. I love that. Okay, let's get this in the book. And I think the only thing we have left to do is getting this evidence seal on there. And I think I need to back. I need to do some inking on the back, so get the red out of this brush best I can and get brown back in there because that's creepy there all right So this is going to get glued down. Mm. It's going to have to go like that. Because I still want to get the brad to be able to go through there. So it's going to be right there and there. All right. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this down and <laughs> say a prayer. I want or should I have done that or should I have done it like that, fold it over? Hmm. Now I don't know. Goes like that, like that. Or like that. Mm, I wish you guys could tell me what to do. I'd be curious to know what you guys think. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but what should I have done? Um, I'm going to do my original plan. Could have been done many ways. So, okay, just the very edge on the top, and I'm gonna do the same on the edge of the bottom. Not too much. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. All right, I gotta let that dry. Well, friends, I ended up having to end my filming yesterday when I was working on this project. Um, I'm not going to go into it, um, but yeah, I was no longer able to film for the rest of the afternoon, but I really wanted to just finish this up. So we were pretty much done anyhow. So I'm going to just walk you through what it looks like, but this is what it looks like in the book. And I love it so much. This turned out way better than I thought it would. So to finish it out, all I did was, I had glued this down, so all I did was break it open. I took my razor, my knife, craft knife, and I just cut it open. And that was it. <laughs> That's all I did. I actually, once I got it glued down, I kind of thought about just leaving it and never letting this be an open pocket and leaving these things in here. But I did change my mind and it is pocket you can open and remove so then I have my little bits in here of evidence that just go right in there so the rainfall the playing card and this check 
So I kind of liked being able to stick them in the envelope so that you can see them. So we'll get those put back in. So that's the envelope. It is glued down, but it's only glued along these sides here because I decided to make this a pocket. So we can stick something else inside. So it's like kind of like a little bit of a hidden pocket. And I'm really glad I did that because now I have one more pocket to put things. This again is just that card that I embellished. Um, did a little stamping on. The back all I did was splatter. That's it. So I kind of like it this way with all the writing. And then um, because I was sitting at my desk last night and I just needed some time to craft and, and process through some emotions on some news we got yesterday, um, I decided to play around with a few other things. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I made this evidence envelope. All I did was cut it out and glue it together and I don't have anything in it. I did some inking and I just did some stamping. So that was a fun little bit of ephemera to make, but I thought I would share it with you. I don't have the version of what it looked like clean. I know I've shown it in this video or another video as I'm kind of paging through, but um, I added the case number. Uh, I added this stamp, this stamp, this stamp, date, marked the little box, the time, um, this number here, the time one, I'm trying to think of what I used. I used a stamp and um, I just added the two little, the colon there. Uh, text, a little bit of um, stamping here where it looks like a signature and some numbers and splattering and coffee dye. So you can do a lot with stamps. This was just uh, cutting it apart, gluing it together and stamping. So I love it. I don't, oh, I did one more stamp on the back. I don't know if I'll do anything on this and I don't know what will go in it, but now I just have one more thing to add into my little box. I also came up with an idea for this map. Where's the book? Um, let's see. I was thinking, I still want to use this map, but uh, I wasn't sure where I'd put it. So here's what I came up with. When it comes time to assembling this and working on this final back pocket, I'm going to extend this here. I might just have to use a little bit more cardstock. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Uh, but, and then I thought I would put the map there and then draw some stuff on it. And now this is the map of this investigator going across the country looking for Mr. Dutch Anderson. Fun, huh? So hopefully I remember that. That's one reason why I'm telling you guys is so I remember that. I also wrote map on my note here, so <laughs> that should help. Okay, so friends, thank you for coming along with me. Let's go ahead and get this all put back together. There, we'll leave it right there because it's lovely. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so what are we going to do next? Um, let's see where we're at. We got that one done, that one done. So maybe we'll work on this tomorrow or tomorrow. Next, the next time that um, I craft and I hope you'll craft along with me. Okay, friends, thanks so much for spending time with me. Thanks for uh, coming along on this adventure with me and uh, drop a comment. Let me know if you're doing anything like this. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.